got one more question. Hi, Christina Peterson with Bloomberg. Uh, both Secretary Kennedy and the FDA Commissioner mentioned saturated fats and evolving science on that. Could you expand a little bit on how your thinking has, has shifted or how you believe the science has shifted? Sure. Look, since Ansel Keys in the 1960s decided to demonize saturated fat with a hypothesis that was supported with data that was incomplete and methodologically flawed in his seven country study. The medical establishment started with a robust debate in the New England Journal of Medicine among academics of the National Academy, but that debate ended in the 1970s because there was groupthink. The medical establishment locked arms and walked off a cliff together insisting that the reason for heart disease in the United States was that people were not eating uh, skim milk and no fat and low fat foods, ignoring the roles of refined carbohydrates and so many other things that drive general body inflammation, which is the precursor of fat deposition in the arteries. Well, that dogma still lives large, and it, you see remnants of it in the food guidelines that we are now revising. So we're going to ensure that the new guidelines are based on science and not medical dogma. Thank you for that question.